So, Apik, the second question is about uh, one of your book that you actually wrote. So it's like, we know what is capitalism by its definition. Mm -hmm. So capitalism is wherein the industry and the trade are controlled by few private firms for mm -hmm. profits. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you named your book Mass Capitalism, mm -hmm. so what do you mean by it? And uh, who, according to you, is controlling the current uh, industry and the trade? See, uh, what's, what's going wrong um, in the economy today is that because of the huge disparity, just 1% of Americans own more than 97% of the wealth of the country. Mm -hmm. And w what happens is that when 97% uh, when of the people don't have a buying power, mm -hmm. you know, so good buying power, it leads to lack of economic demand. So how this 97% people really generate a demand is through the creation of debt, mm -hmm. credit card debt, consumer debt, borrowing. And this is exactly how we have caused now 21 trillion of national debt. So when I say it's mass capitalism that is played over here in my book, I want free market capitalism to work for 100% Americans. So when people are working hard, they get a fair share for their hard work. And when people's purchasing power grows in proportion to hard work, of course the return of investments for the business owners are going to grow. Okay, and, uh, and we don't have to create debt creation in this process. You know? So without creating the debt, you have kind of sustainable growth mm -hmm. and purchasing power, you can get rid of the poverty. And this is exactly when I say, call it mass capitalism, because I want capitalism to work for 100% for the masses, mm -hmm. not just for the few one percenters. Mm -hmm. So, and this, is, this should be the goal of every economic system, to how, how we can ensure that poverty goes away and how we can ensure prosperity for everyone. So this is what mass capitalism gives you to. A, a solution to the poverty and a, a bright future for everyone in the, in the economy.